Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for Today. I'm going to tell you that children, children are special. Those of you who have had an opportunity to serve uh, in children's ministry, work with children, who have children, will notice that children are truly special. And our passage today reflects that. Our passage comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 14 to 16. And just to set this up for you, this, uh, occur this, this passage comes in. This, this scene um, is the second part of a scene where Jesus clears the temple courts. Uh, he's angry that there are money changers and those selling doves and sacrifices. And so he goes in, he starts flipping the tables, and you might even you know, have a, see a scene where he has a whip, and he's whipping them out, and, and he clears out the temple courts of these people. Um, and so that's the image we get. Jesus goes in, and he just cleans house. But there's more to this particular story. You know, this is during Passover. Uh, this is after Palm Sunday, Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Uh, but there's more to this story after Jesus clears out the temple courts. Verse 14 says, The blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and he healed them. So after Jesus clears out the temple courts, uh, and he's angry about what's happening there, the lame and the blind came to him. And now the lame and the blind, they're always hanging out in there because uh, people who need to give alms, uh, who, who need to, to give money away as part of their sacrifice and what they're supposed to do, the blind and the lame lay there or they stand there, you know, maybe shaking a cup, uh, waiting for people to give them a donation, to give them alms because they're afflicted and they're downtrodden, and as such, they need to be provided for. So, um, so after Jesus flips the tables, the blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and Jesus healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did, and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David! They were indignant. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, replied Jesus. Have you never read from the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth your praise? Now Jesus quotes Psalm 8-2 here to, re to respond to the chief priests. So, was the big deal about the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David? Well, the son of David, this distinction that the children are giving him and, and shouting is that Jesus is the com coming Messiah, that he is the Messiah. He is the one prophesied and um, who God had promised in the covenant of David that would rule on his throne forever. And the priests were offended by this because they didn't believe that Jesus was. Um, but who did? The children. The children saw what Jesus did. The children saw what Jesus did and they believed. They believed. Children we, like, we might think that children should be dismissed, that all they say is nonsense, that um, when they talk to you, they're talking to you about, about cartoons and TV shows, video games. Oh, my goodness. When Trace talks to me about video games or Cayman talks to me about video games, I have no idea what they're talking about. I used to love video games, but now um, some things that they talk about, I have no clue what they're even sharing. Um, but when kids, when you... When you put them in a situation to really get to know the Lord uh, through um, through children's ministry, through vacation Bible school, uh, through through Sunday school, whatever it is, and and they are 
being saturated with God's word and love and teaching, you'll notice that children have some pretty wise things to say. They have some really great insight. And, and even, even outside of that, children do. They see the world in a much different way than you and I see it, a way that we used to see it. And so they'll say things that are wise that you should listen to and consider. My son Trace, uh, when he, he's 12 now, when he was, when he was uh, eight years old, he came to me and said, Dad, Jesus is the light of the world. And you know, when we go to heaven, we're not going to need any sun or anything like that because, because, because God is going to be the light. He's the only light we need, right? And, and I heard him say that. And I said, wow, that is, that, how wonderful that sounds. That sounds pretty profound. Um, thank you for sharing that, Trace. And it got me thinking. And then I went to God's word. And sure enough, I found in Revelation 21 that it says, that there is no need for sun or moon because God is going to be all the light that we need. And here we have children identifying Jesus as the coming Messiah. And yet, the, the teachers of the law, the most religious of the times, the Pharisees, could not identify Jesus as Lord. So, let me encourage you. Consider and listen to the words of children, because they may be wise. God bless you, and have a great day.